Next speaker is The Power of Belief, Dr. Maya Al Havari, Community and Social Responsibility, Culture and Change Expert, Learning and Development Professional. We're looking so much forward to hear you. Thank you very much, Dr. Maya Al Havari. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all. Uh, my name is, thank you so much Fleming for that uh, introduction. Thank you Dr. Hanna for having me, it's a pleasure. It's a Thursday, beautiful morning. In, uh, in this part of the world we say hello bil khamis, meaning hello, hello Thursday, hello weekend, welcome. So uh, it's a great way to, uh, to start the weekend, I believe, with all of you here and today's conference or summit. Uh, today I'll be talking, let me start sharing my screen. Today I will be speaking a little bit about, and I like to keep things short and sweet so that we get the, the benefit. I'm trying to find where I can, hmm. Yes. Okay, I think we can all see my screen here. I would, I, I would want to um, maximize it, but I know for, for a fact when I maximize, when, when you guys maximize your screen, it takes over the full screen and I don't even get to see it because I have a small screen. So I, I wanna accommodate anybody who has a small screen like me on my, my MacBook, and I'd like to keep it this way if that's okay with everybody. So uh, today we'll be talking about the power of belief. It's really a short uh, presentation. I don't like to hide behind my slides. Um, I only have three slides to share and they're very much of bullet points. Um, my name is Mayal Hawari, as you all know. I am the first PhD scholar to research emotional intelligence and its effect on leadership in the MENA region. I'm a TEDx speaker. I'm also uh, into professional development. I've trained over 900 hours to government employees around the Emirates. Uh, humanitarian at heart, um, you know, received a bunch of awards. Alhamdulillah, praise the Lord, from 2017 until 2020. Uh, I'm also a recent author. I just published my book and it was out in the Sharjah International Book Fair 2020. A mother of three children, uh, youngest of special needs. Uh, she's there beautiful, alhamdulillah. I feel very blessed. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting to say, I will say it's, uh, I've just recently divorced. I've gone through depression uh, since 2014, came back and this is who I am today. So um, I, just like Fleming, your story, we all come from struggles. And I thank the Lord for the gift of depression that, uh, that I went through because it made me the person I am today. And it taught me a lot about how can I overcome the demons in me? And the demons are not the demons in general, but the demons in the sense that those thoughts that, uh, that affect us, those uh, comments, um, even the beliefs of others within to us and how we get affected by that. The power of, the, of belief is so, is such an interesting um, start to be able to even uh, put an intention. So if I were to, I'd like to show you before I even go into anything, this spoon here, I hope you guys can see it clearly. Um, let me just, uh, yeah, okay. So you can see the spoon here, it's bent, swirled. It's something that I did and I always like to do when I'm stressed out, not because I need to release some energy, but to reaffirm and reassure myself that there is a whole lot of power in me that is untapped. And it's just, it has to be redirected into the right and rechanneled into the right um, pockets that will serve me best and will serve uh, my life best. So what is the power of belief? Simply, it's the ability to create vision. Do you have a vision? Do you know what the difference between goals and vision is? 
when you walk into any uh, institution, government institution, any even pub, a private uh, organization, they have their vision and mission statement on there. It starts with a vision statement and it ends down with goals. What, what are the differences? I mean, people, if you ask people, they, they always talk about, they think they're talking about vision, but they're not. It's always about goals. People think that if I, if I put in my mind that in the next 10 years, I am going to be the CEO of X company. The next uh, five years, I plan to build a house. In the next year, I'm going to save up enough money and buy my, uh, my, my dream car. Great, but those are all goals. They are not vision. A human being should have both goals and vision, such as any mission statement. What is the difference? Goals are tangible. Goals are, are things that you see. Situations that you will be in, that you will live in. Goals have time zones. Goals are selfish to you, which is completely good and okay. You have to have some kind of selfishness, not in a negative way, but you have to have those. Those are dear and heart and heartfelt for you. So you should have goals. The difference between goals and vision is the completely different story. It's the opposite. Vision is not tangible. Vision you cannot see but you can feel. Number two, vision is not, has nothing to do with you. In fact, vision has to do with everybody else. So you take care of your goals and you improve on you, but why? Because you need to serve and we have vision. The vision is to serve the betterment of the society, to give back, as we all say, to, to the community. So vision is uh, about the quality of life and what you offer to others. So the power of belief is that ability to create vision, the ability to instill within you the benefit of others through you. Do you have that? Have you ever thought of it? Again, we spoke this morning about purpose and meaning. Do you know what the purpose of you, you being on this earth is? And as uh, we said, you don't have to die, absolutely, to, to know your purpose. But it is talks like this that um, put us in, you know, on platforms where we start, you know, thinking and saying, hmm, I am a creature such as the moon, such as the stars, such as the trees. They know, they know what they have to do on this earth. They know their purpose. What about me? I was given the virtue of, aware of awareness. So there must be something more for me. Yes, we are all human beings. Yes, there are so many people on this earth, but every one of us has a different um, mindset, different way of thinking and different meaning and purpose. The only thing is that we never get, we never sit down. We rarely, seldom do we sit down and say, okay, why am I even here? What am I doing? Why am I affected by anybody that comes and throws their, you know, their dump their whatever on my doorstep? And, I, and, I, and I'm affected by it. So vision is very important for the power of belief. Number two, to have strength of will. To have that willpower, that flame within you, that I'm, I am going to be that vision. I am going to have that. That is the essence of the word power, will. We say willpower. Will is that, that need that I know I am going to become. Will will come to the next one. And the third point here, and that's resilience. Because you have vision, then you have that flame, which is called will, the willpower, that will create some resilience. Resilience will help you with, will equally come with something called sustainability. The ability to keep at it, to keep going. I remember when I came out of my depression and started my PhD on emotional intelligence and its effect on leadership, I didn't realize how much of the influence I gave and I 
I gave people on social media. I didn't realize that until after six months uh, after I started my PhD program. And it was interesting because it was about research and I had to put it on social media and collect statistics. But then I realized that there was this other effect that people really were thirsty. They needed somebody to, to listen to, to guide, somebody that was real, somebody that was able to communicate clearly, give those messages, and yet it will come down to your intention. People smell, smell, people can know if you're honest or not. People will know, are you in this for the betterment of the society? Again, that vision that we spoke of in number one, or are you in it for yourself? When you realize the amount of influence that you have on others, that gives you a level of confidence and it guides you to what your purpose is. I remember I didn't realize what my purpose was until after two years of me in my PhD program. Can you imagine? So five years of depression, then two years of influencing others until people told me, Maya, this is your calling. I never thought of it. Like the power of the word, you know, the power of, of, of one word. You hear it all the time, but sometimes when you hear it from somebody completely out of this realm, like, like it's, it's meant to be that you almost wake up and you say, she's actually right. So vision, will, resilience, and that should be able to help you be ignited and be motivated and activate you in the morning. So um, what wakes you up in the morning? What makes you feel like I need to get going? I, need, I know today it's, it's gonna be a better day. Actually today is a continuation of yesterday uh, in a positive light. Am I able to um, brush off the negativity of yesterday and start a new fresh day? The ability to, to wake up every day in the morning and say, today's a new day. That, all of that comes from the power of belief. What is the law of belief? And I know that um, uh, Fleming, you mentioned this and it's, it's, it's interesting because what I say here on the first uh, note, you do not necessarily believe what you see. So people will come and say, so that's actually a, a, a big part of the law of belief. So people, you know, that, that thing, that, uh, that issue with your daughter, that you knew, you knew that you knew that you didn't, it's not something that you're seeing. It's, it's you believe it, you don't see it. And that's exactly the essence of what belief is. You believe something that nobody else knows of, nobody else can perceive. I, I went through, uh, for me to become who I am today, a part of it was uh, understanding death and looking at near death experiences and trying to understand where do we go. I remember for me to be able to live, it, it, I, had to, I had to come and become friends with death because I, was all, I always feared death, yet yeah, death is the most beautiful experience. If you listen to those stories that you'd ever imagine. So coming back to life, I, I didn't experience any near-death experiences. However, I've read so much on it, uh, listened to stories, and it's just interesting that how much you begin to believe in purpose. So you do not necessarily believe what you see, that's the law of belief. You also see what you have already decided to believe. So, which is also the law of attraction. So, as you said, when you believe, you open up those channels and it begins, at, yes, with quantum physics and the universe begins to react with you and you see those things. It's almost like wanting to, you go into a parking lot and on a Friday night, here, Friday night is busy and uh, you, you have to get to a cinema, to the, to the movies. You have only 10 minutes to get into there and you can't find a parking spot. You walk in the, the parking lot driving and you're thinking, oh my God, this is like, I'm not gonna find a parking lot. But yet you say, no, 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 I am finding a parking spot. You go in twice, you, 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 you swerve around. People have been waiting half, a, half an hour to get a parking spot and they haven't, yet you did. 
So that is such a common, such a common example. I like to use that because we all can relate to it. It happened to every one of us at one point in time, but we never stopped and thought about it. If you think, if you'd apply that to everything else in life, seems easy, it's not, it's a daunting task. To be able to see what you already believe that people, other people don't see, but you, you really in you, you know, you know that it's going to happen for you. Thus, you will always act in a manner that is consistent with your inner beliefs and convictions. So um, I always felt that at one point in time, I will be holding a, a very powerful position in the country here in the United Arab Emirates. Hasn't happened yet. Um, but I remember as I was reading through belief and energy, uh, it was a big, big notion that you have to believe, you have to wear that, you have, your, your shoulders have to carry that, your actions have to mimic that. And obviously habits are formed uh, from 21 days to 40 days. And Harvard research says 66 days to reprogram a habit. So you need to also surround yourself with people that are within that circle. That happens with time. But I learned something very important. The bigger the ask from the universe, the energy, God, the almighty, the bigger the ask. So if it's a, it's a parking spot, that's an easy ask. You're gonna get it. But the bigger the ask, the longer it will take. It's gonna need some patience. It's gonna need some preparation. It's gonna need that you, because this is a daunting, a daunting task in the sense that you need to wear, you need to be a certain person before you get there. That takes time. And for you to go with the flow, you know, we hear about go with the flow, go with whatever is coming your way, but keep, what makes you go with the flow? It's that power of belief that you know without a shred of a doubt that you will get to where you want to be. Finally, you can tell what you or anyone else believes by simply looking at what they do. So basically, a lot of people came to me and said, Maya, you actually, you deserve to be X position. And I, it was interesting because I always heard that as I started mimicking and just living that uh, way of, you know, that belief and it, people start feeling it again. Uh, remember, people are not, um, you can't take people for, let's just say that they are blind. Not at all. People smell dishonesty and they know honesty. Last but not least on the slide, how do you have the power of belief? How do you maintain it? Number one, you got to be positive. You got to think success. You cannot allow failure to uh, overcome that thought of success. It is hard. We say it like it's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's hard. It's like building a house. For you to build a house, it'll take probably here in this country because we have, it's not wood, it's uh, concrete. It takes about a year and four months to, or maybe a year, yeah, maybe a year and four months to actually live in uh, the house. Uh, but if you were to come and break it down, it's gonna, it's only gonna take two, three days. So building is, is building. When you build, your, your, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes energy, it takes that, that, that power and will and resilience. Again, that first slide we said, that belief that things are gonna happen for me, that takes time and energy. But then to break you, it just is easy. Um, next, you are better than you think you are. You need to remind yourself that you are better than you think you are. We tend to think, uh, you, you think that you're not good enough, yet the other one across from you is thinking, is actually afraid of you. Remind yourself with that. You're thinking you're not good enough, although you are very successful. That's, that's actually one big trait that a lot of successful leaders uh, feel. They have that, again, we go back to Fleming's talk. They fear that they're not good enough. In fact, the people across from you are thinking they are afraid of you. They are intimidated by you. You don't want 
people to be intimidated. You really want people to connect with you. You want people, because since we are influencers, you want to be that good influencer. Finally, last but not least, believe big, believe big. Never let anybody come your way and break you. I will say this, I have been, uh, as I started my journey on social media, and by the way, for me, social media is, is only a stepping stone. It's a stepping stone to what I want uh, to accomplish. And I realized that, yes, I want to accomplish that. I realized that whatever dream I want to get to is not going to make me. As you go up, the ladder, you need to really put that in your mind. Whatever chair you or position you, you grab or you become, it doesn't make you. You become it. You make it. You make that position. And that's only if you have vision, you have pure intentions to give back to others. I remember when I was growing up and still am, I got really hit by the closest people. And I got, uh, you know, commented at by saying, nobody in the family has done this. Nobody else has, has gone out like this. Where do you think you're going? Who do you think you are? And this is from the closest people you can imagine. It costed me a divorce, I hate to say. But that was one of the reasons that I, I couldn't control the flame. I just couldn't control that that willpower in me. I knew that belief that I knew, I know in my heart that I know I'm going places. I know I can do, I have the energy to give. I have a lot of love uh, for humanity. And I want to share that with others through my work and through my purpose. And it, it never failed me. I was never failed by the, you fail, yes, you drop, yes, but I was never failed by the energy. I was always given more than what I asked because intention was right, belief was there, and hard work was also there. For you to believe and sit down and say, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna get there, but without the work, without the building of it, you are not gonna get anywhere. So believe big and don't let anybody put you down. I really uh, thank you all for listening and being attentive. And I hope I didn't take much of your time. Uh, these are my social media anchors or, or hangers or platforms, whatever you might like to call it. And I wish you all the best. I will stop sharing my screen. I don't know if, if you guys have any questions, you're most welcome to go and shoot. Thank you so much. In fact, um, I would love to listen for you for hours. Yeah. Uh, your talk is just like, you know, rivers of honey that reaches the heart and nurture the soul. But we have to move to the next speaker. Uh, thank you so much, Maya. Thank you for having me. Thank you.